Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the KTLC Fanbase channel. My name is Joey and today we have an exciting video. I'm going to be reviewing one star reviews of the Keeper of the Lost City series. Keeper of the Lost Cities definitely has its flaws. That is a given for any book series, but I do not think this series or any book is a one star. You could argue for a three, maybe even a two, but I don't really think one at all. We have some very weird, sometimes funny, sometimes actually intriguing comments in this video. Some of them may even have some good points, who knows. Before we get into these reviews, make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe down below. Things have been kind of slow recently, so we're trying to bounce back in the fall. And without further ado, let's get into these one star reviews. One out of 10. Not even one out of five stars, but one out of 10 stars, meaning that's 0.5. Do not recommend. It feels like a book six year olds would read, and it gets boring after the first out of nine books. It didn't make me feel anything other than bored and annoyed. With reviews like this, they don't give a reason why they were bored and annoyed, so I don't know what parts of the book made them feel this way. That's a very long review. I'm just gonna skip that one. One star, did not finish, nearly plagiarism of Harry Potter if you ask me. What? A lot of books take inspiration from Harry Potter and some have similar qualities, but plagiarism? Anyway. Wait, hell, can you say can you say it again how many how many stars you rated this book? I promise. I tried to read this. I truly did. But literally every sentence was a plot hole and it read like a Wattpad fanfic. Sophie was an idiot and what the actual f Honestly, there actually is kind of a lot of plot holes. I think I made a whole video about a, a year ago and I wasn't even looking for that long and I found uh, quite a bit. But I mean, this is this is one of the one of the funny runs. So I I get what they mean, but whatever and i think here we have an actual like criticism comment not just like a funny one or one just like doesn't explain it i know so many people who love this book and while they're definitely entitled to their opinion i don't know why anyone would enjoy this the magic system is ridiculous the main character is complete mary sue the writing is average at best and is overall really boring the only character i liked was keith but i didn't like him enough to want to continue reading this nine book long series that is too many books. I don't care how good the series is, nine is too many. I'm gonna have to agree with like how long the series is. Not about the actual books, but how it's it's just been dragged on and on and on. Not only has it been dragged on, but we just got unlocked, which only had like 200 or so pages of actual book. And then we have to wait a whole nother year for another book. So that's two years and 200 pages. One star, highly recommend. Well written and very engaging book. Highly recommend. Here is a comment that seems like there's a lot going on, but I want to read it. Did not finish at page 120. I've been so excited about reading this book and it makes me really sad that I did not finish this book. I just couldn't get into it. I know this is aimed at younger kids, but even so, the writing felt so juvenile. Some of my favorite books are middle grade books, so I'm used to reading books aimed at younger audiences, but there was just something about this writing. What really bugged me though is that nothing seemed to have an impact at all. Sophie's told she's an elf and is whisked off to this world whilst nothing going missing on her own. And she's just like, oh, okay. And nobody seems that bothered about her being missing either. And then she finds out she's not human again and then she's like, maybe I'll ask my parents if I'm adopted and they aren't concerned about this at all. Why is there no impact or response to anything that happens? It's not normal. And don't even get me started on how super duper Sophie is. So disappointed, I really wanted to love this one. Some things that um, I don't really understand about some of these reviews is that how they don't finish books. Like, I can't really remember a time where somebody recommended to me a book or I bought a book or something and I never finished it. And since I didn't finish it, I really feel like I'm qualified to write a review of the book if I didn't even get through like halfway of it. So yeah, it, they have some opinions that I don't agree with, but they have their opinion and we're gonna move on. This one is in um, German, I think. But I'm gonna assume they didn't like it, so we're gonna move on. These have all been reviews of book one, so I'm gonna move on to Unlocked because that's the newest book. I wanna see what people think about it. But before we leave book one, scrolling through all these comments, I always see the same word, Mary Sue. I know what it means, but literally every, every single review has that.
I don't think this book contributed to anything to the series at all, sadly. And I have to say, I agree with many of the other reviewers. This series feels a lot like it's being dragged on, and I'm a bit tired of it. I absolutely adored the first three books, they were amazing, and they made me feel so many different things, but after that, it just felt like nothing was really happening anymore. I love the characters, especially Keith and Bianca to death, but I would like for them to get an ending soon. This, is, this has been like a recurring theme throughout um, all these reviews where they feel like either the book is being dragged on, where they don't like how there's so many books, they're so long, or they just feel like they don't like the characters or how the book starts in book one. Oh look, it's Troy's review. This one, I actually, I agree with completely, honestly. Not the one star review, but what they say. The novella should have been the only thing released. Here's what Shannon Messenger should have done. She should have released a novella normally, but that's the whole thing. Just a 300 page or whatever, just novella. And then she should have waited until the series is over to release a series guide so it has the up-to-date information. And I know fans would be disappointed with only 300 pages, but she could just market it as a novella or like a sneak peek of book nine or something, I don't really know. I feel like fans would take that better instead of like a filler book, which is essentially what Unlocked is. I actually did read the whole, um, as Austin calls it, a study guide. I actually read that whole thing, and I have to say, I liked all the art. The art was a great extra, and all the fun stuff in there, and recipes, all that good stuff, was not worth the wait, but it was still very cool to see. I think that's going to wrap up this one-star review video. Let me know how you thought of these reviews. Do you think they had valid points, or do you think they were just wrong? Also, comment down below, what do you think could be better in this series? What are some of its flaws and how they could be changed or something that can happen to make these books a definite 5 star? Looking at all these reviews, some of them did tweak my opinion of the series a little bit because I did have to agree with some of their points, but most of them, I almost completely disagreed. If you enjoyed looking at these reviews, make sure you leave a like, and don't send any hate to these people that are reviewing it. They are, of course, entitled to their opinion and they can share it without any backlash. I had a great time making this video. I hope you had a great time watching. That's gonna be it for me and I'll see you next week.